In this video, I will show you three different methods to create an elbow like this in Blender. Blender version 2.78c is being used while creating this video. First, we are going to create an elbow from a torus, so that I call this method the torus method. Let's start by deleting this cube. Right mouse click to select it, and press X and enter to delete it. Now go to the create menu, and add a torus. Now press 7 on the number pad for the top view, and press 5 for the orthographic view. Now zoom it little bit by mouse wheel up and press tab to enter to the edit mode. Now press Z key on the keyboard for the wireframe view, and press A key to deselect everything. Now press B on the keyboard for the box selection tool, and draw a box including the half vertices of the torus to the left while pressing left mouse button. Now press X key on the keyboard and select vertices to delete them. Again, press B key on the keyboard for the box selection tool and draw a box including the half of the remaining vertices to the down while pressing left mouse button. Now press X on the keyboard, and click on vertices to delete them. Now press tab to return back to the object mode, and press Z key for solid view. Now go to the tools menu and under the shading option click on smooth. Now the elbow is created. The advantage of this method is you can extend the side easily to make a pipe. To do that, press tab to enter to the edit mode. Right mouse click on the edge of this elbow while pressing alt key on the keyboard to select the loop. Now press E key on the keyboard to extrude, and right mouse click to release. Now move these selections as farther as you want to extend the pipe. This was the torus method to create an elbow. Now let's do the second or bevel method. So go to the file menu, click on new, and click on reload startup file. Come over here and delete the cube by pressing X, and enter. Press 7 on the number pad for the top view and 5 for the orthographic view. Now go to the create menu, and from under the curve section, add a bezier circle. Move this circle little bit to the right grabbing this red arrow. And again from the create menu, add a path. Now press tab to enter to the edit mode. Now right click on the left hand side of the path to select that vert, and press X, and click on vertices to delete. Right click on the right hand side of the path to select this vert, and press X, and click on vertices to delete. Again, right mouse click on the left hand side of the path to select the vert, pull this green arrow one grid line up to the Y axis, and pull this right arrow one grid line right to the X axis. Now press tab to return to the object mode. Now expand this right side panel little bit to unhide some of the features. Now go to this curve object data icon, come down to the bevel section, click on this little cube icon, and select bezier circle from the list. Now come here and select the circle right clicking on it. And to scale it, press S key on the keyboard, and move the mouse in or out to adjust the diameter of the elbow. Now as you can see the elbow is created. The advantage of this method is, you can adjust the diameter of the elbow, and also you can extend and bend the pipe freely. To do that, make sure that the elbow is selected. And press tab to enter to the edit mode. Right mouse click on the one of the vertices to the side to select the vert. Press E key to extrude, and move your mouse anywhere you like and left click to confirm. And this was the bevel method to create an elbow. Now we are moving forward to the third and last method, which is screw method. So go to the file menu, click on new, and click on reload startup file. Come over here and delete the cube by pressing X and enter. Now go to the create menu, and add a circle. Now rotate this circle on the X axis by pressing R, X, 90 and enter. Now scale it down by pressing S. 0.5, and enter. Now rotate and pan the view to see it better, 
and press tab to enter to the edit mode. Make sure that the all vertices of the circle are selected, and move them by pulling this red arrow little bit on the X axis. Now expand this right side panel to unhide some of the features. Now go to this modifier icon, click on add modifier, and click on screw modifier. Now come over here and change the axis to Y. Now come down here and change the steps value to 64. Also up here, set this angles value to 90 degrees. Now we have just created an elbow using screw modifier. The advantage of this method is you can change the diameter and angles of the elbow. To do that, make sure that the elbow is selected, press tab to enter to the edit mode, make sure that all the vertices of circle are selected, now press S key on the keyboard and drag mouse to adjust the diameter and left mouse click to confirm. Now go over there to the modifier section. And change the angles value to get your desired elbows angle. And this was the very quick tutorial about three different methods to creating an elbow in Blender. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and leave a comment.